Greetings, Soulswind here, and welcome to a new Let's Play demo series. Let's play Haven Dock demo version. The game is developed by YYZ, published by YYZ, as well as different tales. Firstly, so what is YYZ? We can find on Google as YYZ Productions, and if you were to visit the about page of the site, we would see that it's actually Yo Inji, seemingly a solo developer from Singapore, where I'm from too. <laughs> Meanwhile, Different Tales is an indie AA studio and publisher from Poland. Their games on Steam include Backpack Hero as well as Wonderlust, Travel Stories, and many others. So, according to the Steam store page for this demo version, Haven Dog is a colony simulation and automation game. I like automation a lot, so I'm looking forward to maybe robots and even conveyor belts? Some way to automate production eventually. The tags on Steam Store page also show that it's in early access, but I don't think there's an early access version. The targeted release date is first quarter of 2023, and this is a demo version. The game is not on sale yet, so early access? Maybe not. That's why this is in the Let's Play demo series. Now, if you see on screen here, there's a lot of activities going on, and there's so many things happening on screen. We've got ships sailing by or boats sailing by, we've got a mouse that's on the raft and even a witch and a cauldron, fishes jumping out of water, pretty realistic water animation. Then there's a lot of people walking around, even talking. In fact, I don't even see repeated speech bubbles like you saw just this one breaking the fourth wall, did the game hang? <laughs> it's like as if speaking to us as players. Is it safe to talk? Oh, they're still here. <laughs> yeah, definitely breaking the fourth wall there. And that's really interesting too. I feel like I'm being watched. Let's not stay here for too long, although it's really beautiful. In fact, if we were to move our mouse, we see a little bit of uh, an angle change here. But let's go on. Let's start with the settings. We have got music, sound effects, and even voices so they can speak. More importantly, we see character deaths here. So when enabled settlers die, when hunger and thirst remain depleted for too long, we know that this is something of a colony simulation survival or whatever. But we're not going to enable this because this is a demo version, we just want to take more time to explore without threats of characters dying. We can leave this off for now. What's even more interesting is the Singlish mode. This is specific to Singapore. It makes settlers speak broken English in some speech bubbles when enabled. Now that's something really, really unique. We're keeping Singlish mode off for now. Although this is probably a really interesting selling point. But we're gonna keep it off because we just wanna really explore the game, understand what the game has to offer. Usually the default is what the game developer wants us to experience the game in. We're sticking with the default, especially for demo mode. Without further ado, I know I've been speaking a lot. Let's start the gameplay. Oh, we have to enter a name. So we're gonna go with Soulswind again, but sure, Soulswind. Uh, oh, this is, of course, male, and uh, our pronoun is he and him. That's good enough for us, but these are the other options available. Quite inclusive, very nice, but this is our pronoun. So, clothes. Mm, we're gonna go with gray? Sure, why not? Eyes. <laughs> we want eyebrows. <laughs> so... There we go. And then mouth. I think we're gonna still pick the same thing eventually, but hmm... A conservative smile here should do the trick. Accessories are purely aesthetic and have absolutely no use in gameplay. It may be accurate to say the prettier it is, the more useless it is. <laughs> Except every accessory equally serves no purpose. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, okay. Minus 5% chance to get the plague? Wait, are you sure it serves no purpose? 
Really? Huh. You know what? Let's go with the default. Nothing. Quirks. These quirks have no gameplay effects, even if they sound like they do. Perfectionist, you like to make sure everything's exactly as how you like it. No room for error. Procrastinator, oh, I am very good at procrastinating. <laughs> Food lover, hopeless believer, nerdy genius, oh my gosh. Let's go with nothing for now. You wake up in a daze on a small sand bank. You appear to be stranded in the middle of the ocean. You find some wood to build a makeshift deck using rocks as tools. Looks like you have to build more decks and expand. You have no recollection of how you got here, but you must find a way to survive. And pray others will find you. Move with WASD. Okay, this is a little bit obscure, but sure, I guess we'll notice it sooner or later. So WASD. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's the person moving. Okay, okay. Press this or this to orbit the camera or hold the middle mouse button. Definitely hold the middle mouse button, for goodness sake. And then we'll try to help the developer test with the other two keys. <laughs> Collect floating planks. How do we go there? Oh, we can just click on it. Build a few decks. Do we click on this? Uh-huh, what's that? Let's see. Palm leaf. Okay, quite intuitive. A bag is an inventory. Too far. Too far, too far. Okay, sure. Build a few decks. Shortcut one. Oh, nice. And then shortcut anymore? Oh, F1, F2, oh, oh, that's gonna be a problem for a certain function key for Steam, <laughs> but let's not worry for now. Extend your building area with decks. You can build other structures on decks. Costs wood to build. Okay. DSD key still works. Good, good, good. How about if we were to build over this and then maybe add a little bit more space? Can we go down to the, like, the ground? Build a pump? Produce a seawater. Let's you manually collect seawater from the ocean. Should not be drunk unless you built a distiller. Or if you're literally drunk. <laughs> okay, that's uh, humor or rather comedy. Can we build it elsewhere? No, it must be on a deck. Can we build it on this island? Will it work? Let's try. I think it still works though. Control click to take resource. Wait, what? No, 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 I don't want to. Oh, yikes. I don't want to build it. Can we tear it down? Oh no. How do we tear it down? I don't want to build that. I accidentally built it. Can we tear it down? 100% of resources spent. Ooh, nice. Even though spent on upgrades. Okay. Oh, that's great. Nothing to take out. Can be fed into a distiller to become fresh water. Wait, 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 wait. If we build a distiller, we'll get drunk. Uh oh, should not be drunk. Okay, should not be drunk. <laughs> Meaning that you should not drink it. <laughs> Alright, sure. Um, Collect seawater. Click? No. Click this first. E. Oh, E key. Okay, good. Can we then not open this menu and just press the E key? Can we just press the E key? Face it, press the E key. Nope. Gotta press the E key from here. 
So it collects up to two already. How many can it store here? Hmm, now's not a good time to find out. So let's just explore the game first. Click. Okay, collected down to zero already. Now let's uh, walk away. Wait, what was that? Oh, okay. Build a distiller and turn seawater into water. I just clicked it and it happened to be a fish. Okay, sure. Distiller. Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, guess so. Why not? Put seawater into distiller. Control click to take resources. Shift click to insert resources. Oh, okay, good. That's really nice. Otherwise, we'll just, uh, you know what? Let's. Okay, let's add one more. And then let's walk away. Press E to stop. Okay. Exit out of context. Control click. Nice. And then shift click. Cannot insert anymore. Oh. Okay, let's wait a little bit and then let's try shift click. Oh, there's already one. Shift click. It works. So we can click on here, I guess. Oh, yeah. Same. Good enough. Take one out. That's it. Collect two water. So we gotta wait a little bit. Meanwhile, it's nighttime. And then we got tips here movement, building decks, and. What not? Uh, ooh, that's nice. Wait for pump to reach 100%. Okay, building decks. Okay, shift to place multiple. That's very intuitive. Good. Getting water, movement. Okay, wikia. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, I'm not gonna look at those yet. Not now. Control click. Nothing to take out yet. Oh, wait, hang on. Is that like... Is this paused? Yeah, I think it's paused if we're in this menu. Good. Okay, you can see the water fill up. Can we? Oh, we can zoom in. Oh my gosh. How do we zoom in? Using the mouse wheel. I don't think that was told to us, but that's quite intuitive. Learn how to build. We have already learned. We can click the X key. Can we store more? I think it will. It will store a lot more. So let's see if we were to store like two and we shift click, do we shift click one or two? Like do we take out one or two? 30 seconds, okay. So there's two now, shift click. No wait, hang on. Uh, okay. Uh, control click, sorry. Shift click was one because we only had one. Okay, control click was two, nice. Now we need to build a workshop. Press the one key again and then workshop. Conduct research here, unlocking new structures, resources, and technology. Can we rotate? Oh, we can! Look, right hand side of the screen, we can rotate. B to toggle multi build, which is just like we don't have to hold the shift key, right? Is that what it is? Not enough wood. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Not too bad. Yeah, it's gonna float by, so we'll still be fine. And then this is. Oh, wow, that's quite intuitive. You saw that? You saw the green bar and the orange bar shrink down to just green alone? Oh, yeah, look at that. See? Once it's close enough, it will just be green, and then we can pick it up. Control click. Okay, I gotta get used to control click and shift click. Build a workshop. Can we build it now? Rotate R key. Intuitive. Good. Research agriculture. Okay, so we still gotta click on it. Research. E key. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. A full tech tree. Choose the technology. Click. Deselect? No, cannot. Okay, it's fine. We can't even search. So, does it work? Agriculture? Aha, uh -huh, it does. Awesome. Unlock the knowledge to build birdhouse which attracts birds. Their poop contains seeds which you can plant on farms. Okay, and we need two water to research this. Interesting. <laughs> we can even open the wikia to find out how to get water. That's nice. Like a good reminder. Research continues even if we were to leave the workshop. Nice. Oh, okay, it tells us again. 
can zoom in and see what it's like. Okay, agriculture completed. Where's that uh, wood thingy? Take it up, please. Thank you. Can you walk closer? No. Build a farm. Uh, build a farm. Farm bridge. Oh, wait, hang on. Stable foundation to build across deep waters. Okay. And then storage boxes for you to put resources in. I think we'll need it soon, but let's expand our base a little bit more. So we're deviating from the tutorial by building a few more things. Hopefully that's fine. Hey, hey, can we get that? Oh, too big to catch. Okay. We need more wood. Come on. Let's get more wood. Okay, this is probably... Oh, yeah. Deep water. We can't build across here, though. Which is kind of interesting. This, this part is blocked. And then that's deep water as well. Can we shift this? Ah, we can! Oh, gosh, that's lovely. Yeah, we don't have to tear it down and rebuild it. Wonderful. I think it's amazing. Alright, so we need to build a farm, and then what's this? Happiness. <laughs> okay. Farm, 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 farm. Build a farm. Alright. Uh, where do we want to build it? In this corner, I guess. Then let's expand this a little bit more. Because we can't walk into it, so we're gonna, like... Open the food tab, build two bird houses. Food tab, number two, and then bird houses. Oh wait, what? Two seeds? Uh... No, 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 no. What, what happened? Oh, I clicked on here, so I wanna click on here, and then it opened the farm. Uh-huh, that's something to take note of. We're in the build context, we shouldn't be opening up some other context menu, if anything. But if we were to click like this, it doesn't work. Click, nope, doesn't work. Click on the floor, it works, okay. Two birdhouses, we can walk to there, but not across the farm, which is fine, but still, um, opening the context and not being able to build, that's something that um, might need some reconsiderations. Uh, but it's not a big problem. Collect two vegetables. Collect two vegetables? So we're gonna plant these, right? Four seeds to grow this, and then gives one every 120 seconds. Do we have seeds? Yeah, we have seeds. Good. Okay, it's just gonna give us seeds. We can use raw fish. Placing a fish makes birds poop 1.5 times faster. Given their hunger, the fish will last a whole 60 seconds. Oh, okay. Run over and get it. Come on. Okay, nice. We have a penguin over there. Not enough. That's okay. We need more grounds. Or more lands. Okay, let's get more. Gotta wait for the vegetables. There we go. Okay, we just need four. It doesn't deplete, seemingly. Or at least, it might deplete after all four have been, like, grown. There's probably a little bit of waiting. Unless we can be, like, just build one more. Can we just collect already? No, no. The output is zero, so it doesn't do anything. Even though one of them is grown like that. Uh, we gotta wait the 120 seconds. What is this? When off settlers will not bring resource to it, when off settlers will not take resource from it and refill, which is currently building option three tooltip. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's okay. Wait, what did I click on? The fish? Okay, I guess so.
The recording's reaching almost 30 minutes, so maybe I need to find a point to stop temporarily and then resume. Oh, okay, okay, so it plants one and then it waits. Like, there was three more seeds and then we need to wait another 120 seconds. Acceptable, I mean, they do take time to grow. Eventually, I hope the automation is going to help us a little bit. Oh, did we pick up steel? Did we pick up steel? Strong construction material made at the smelter. It is necessary for intermediate infrastructure obtained at a small chance from debris, traders, or from refining iron ores. So wait, hang on. A small chance from debris. And then, the chance is normal for traders and refining iron ores, or a small chance for all three of them. Phrasing. <laughs> I mean, it's probably for all three. But I would assume it's only for the Brie, which is a small chance. Refining iron would get steel. I think that's fair. Like, that should be a guarantee, right? We'll probably end the episode when the daylight comes about. Okay, it's a few more. Uh, still too big to catch. Meanwhile, we can't really do anything. I mean, we can, but it's not gonna be a nice thing to not care about the tutorial and just move ahead. Uh, this one costs 5 steel, so nope. <laughs> Meanwhile, we've got happiness, we can build dance floors, <laughs> but we don't have the resources for that. Decor. Ground light. Ooh. Attracts strange glowing insects at night. No idea what they are, but they're harmless. Huh, I don't like insects, but sure, I guess. A little bit of lighting would be good. For now, there is no neatness taken into consideration. I'm just gonna proceed with the tutorial. Research charcoal at the workshop. Research charcoal. Okay, so probably do the research now and then the daylight is here. So we're gonna end the episode here. Next episode, we're going to come back to the charcoal research having been completed. Learn how to invent fire and turn wood into charcoal for cooking food. Unlocks charcoal makers and grills to cook primitive food for yourself. Wait, what happened? Struck by lightning, minus 10 thirst. Oh, ouch. Whoa, what? Anyway. Right. I guess that's about it. We're gonna research now, but we're not gonna claim it. Start the research. So in this episode, we started our little platform. <laughs> yeah, a dock it seems. Because Haven dock, right? So this dock is a haven for us. <laughs> yeah, for us. One person. Supposedly gonna be more, but now only one person. Charcoal is getting researched and we picked up some resources including, at a low chance, steel. <laughs> Charcoal has been completed, but we'll come back to it the next time. Can we even pause the game though? Is that any way to pause? Let's press the escape key and then we'll probably cut this in. Yeah, okay, it, it closes the menu. So be it. We'll make a charcoal maker the next episode. Uh, is there a way to pause? Date started. Ooh, this is like the actual date of recording. Playtime. <laughs> they survived. Okay, everything's paused here. So I think this is a good place to end. I suppose. Oh, look at this. There's a lot more. Okay, we're gonna explore this the next time round, alright? Once again, in this episode, we came over to the dock. I mean, we were suddenly stranded on one singular platform. And then we picked up some wood without even getting off the docks. Because why not? 
<laughs> and then we picked up some other resources, built ourselves a nice cozy platform with a pump and a distiller for water, a farm for food, a research table, some birdhouses or whatever, and some lightings. Next episode, we're going to build the charcoal maker and continue with the tutorial. Or maybe not even the tutorial. Why do I say this is a tutorial? This is actual gameplay already. So it's not exactly a tutorial. It's just the game guiding us on how to play because we can only click on the play button. We didn't indicate that we're starting a tutorial. It's fine though. I mean, why not? We can always click on the X key to just go off on our own. That's episode one of Let's Play Haven Dock Demo. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching. That's all I have for now. Have a nice day.